hi guys welcome back to my channel and in case you're just joining me my name is Tolani Enwiri G and in this video I'm just gonna be doing a recap of my summer of August particularly because in this month I had a lot going on so first I visited a lot of friends this is my friend Caroline she's gorgeous she's from Germany and we met in Istanbul and also I went to my driver's license finally and i did it i got my driver's license at 25 guys i'm super proud of myself and of course the move-in i'm pretty sure some of you who have been watching me have seen this video so i moved from my apartment in dubai to a completely new country so it was a lot of packing but i was happy it was nice i was fine <laughs> I was looking all yummy and I was doing some, some airport moment and all of that. I think in August I really did travel a lot and yay! Welcome to Venue. So when I came to this country, the first thing I did was search for an apartment. It took me like two days and it was stressful. It was crazy. I think I saw like maybe 15 different apartments, but I finally found one and then I signed a lease. I'm super happy about this. I moved in and of course during the weekend, I decided to go with some of my friends to Copenhagen. Am I pronouncing it well? I have no idea. <laughs> And then I saw the Queen of Denmark's chip for the first time. I was super excited about this. I did a lot of walking and climbing in Denmark. Like I went up high in this church. It was really scary. Like it was super high and I climbed it. I think it was, I don't know how many feet it was, but it was rewarding. The view was mesmerizing. It was beautiful. It was one of those moments you feel like, wow, like, am I really here? <laughs> So yeah, and that was my time day in Denmark and the next day I was pretty much just soaking in in the morning. It was a bit moody but like the weather was cool and it was time for biking. So I biked for 25 minutes. I've never done it before. My ass was hurting. <laughs> literally my cheeks were hurting from from biking so much like 25 minutes ago and 25 minutes back to this church but it was rewarding like it was nice this church was built like 100 years ago i honestly can't remember the name it was recommended to me if i found it find it i might include it in the screen otherwise well <laughs> just take a screenshot and find it on google so this is the interior of the church look at how beautiful it is like wow i don't know something about churches i just love to go to ancient buildings they are beautiful they're nice i love architecture but i just love like when it is like a long time ago okay so that's all about denmark you know like i finished there all the way back to vineyards and this is me doing my little roof selfie thing at the airport <laughs> and back on my way to lithuania where it is happening my life today in this weekend it was really crowded and i was like yo i need to stand right in the middle of people because it's gonna be winter soon and they're telling me like everyone is gonna be hiding indoor and there is not gonna be anybody outside and by the way look at this heart oh, i just love this country i really love this country there's a lot of talent you see people riding on a scooter i like a one tire scooter i've never seen that before in any way it was beautiful it was gorgeous just so many things was going on in my life i had a lot of things to do also i did some shooting i connected with a lot of black communities here and also photographers and i was super excited i'm actually looking forward to my modeling career in lithuania i, I don't know honestly what i want to do with it also this is my favorite snack in lithuania guys I don't know what it's called. I think it's called like Kimli or Kamli. I don't know. I'm going to make a video about Lithuanian food later. And I'm going to like show you guys my favorite food in Lithuania so far. So yeah, this is just me exploring. So can it hand being a Lithuanian? <laughs> And again, I decided to go explore another city just because I was invited, guys. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not, I love traveling, but like, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I should sit one place, right? So in this video, this is just me jogging around in Viz, Croatia. 
and while i was jogging i discovered this church it was right up there in the mountains and it was looking really nice i decided to go up there and give it a look and it was really nice but what i discovered was really surprising so there is this culture or like this i don't know what it's called monster it's about burning board maybe you guys can pause this video and you can read more about it here but this is really interesting right and on my way back to the boat i was just really enjoying these little villages it was really cool and then we had breakfast it was amazing such a nice lovely time and we had to go from this side of the island to the other side of the island where we can walk and roam around and trust that your girl was really roaming around <laughs> and of course this is me just soaking in the sun in croatia at this time it was 33 degrees and even it was august so it was quite warm and it was lovely and i was so ready for it so i'm just gonna stop the video at the voice note and let you guys enjoy this moment I think this particular island is where they did the movie Game of Thrones. I'm not sure if it's this one or another one, but it is in Croatia for sure. And guys, there's something about these corners, this like narrow road that gets me the windows. Something just about ancient buildings, like olden days building that is so nice that just get me i really love epic movies and i love to imagine a lot so i love to go to this type of places and just imagine what people were like those days when they were living there <laughs> and i saw this cute balcony i decided to film it it's just really beautiful people in this island must be really really nice for this cat to be so calm i was just walking up to him and petting it and it was just there <laughs> didn't move it's just so cool and this island oh my god it's just so beautiful you guys should add it to your bucket list it was never on my bucket list but like i'm so glad i did it and of course it is ice cream time i add my fare it was so hot that day to be honest i think it gets to up to 36 degrees and i enjoyed my ice cream <laughs> while walking around i didn't give af i was just like eating ice cream and still like exploring the city which was a beautiful gorgeous amazing day i think you guys should really add this creation this highland to your uh, bucket list and listen to this bell So in the night we went around to find a restaurant and we found this gorgeous pizzeria i don't know <laughs> pizza spot and this person i don't know what he was trying to do with me but it was like funny and flirty but yeah like it's just super cool here and the pizza i'm pretty sure a lot of italians would not like to come here because there were pine pineapples on top of them <laughs> unfortunately it was really stormy and the weather was getting really bad so we had to leave and we took the ferry which was the big one that could withstand the the you know the storm that was coming and that was it for my island life guys so i my flight was in the next day and i had to check into this gorgeous hotel in split this hotel is called ac marriott hotel in split i think it is the tallest building 
in Croatia. It was really nice. The view was mesmerizing. It was beautiful. I think you guys should check it out if you are visiting uh, Split and you want to stay in a place where there it has a lot of view. And I could not film the pool for you guys, but it also has a pool inside. It was on top, but like the pool was inside, not outside, not exposed outside. And it was pretty nice. Trust me, I did a lot of videos here, <laughs> which was fun. I was going to go like explore the city, but unfortunately, it is raining. So... I think I'm gonna go to the pool, but OMG, guys, look at that, Mamma Mia. 